When I make this dish, I like to use really thin pieces of chicken. And you can have your butcher pound the chicken for you, or in some supermarkets they sell chicken scallopini, and that means they're really thin. And it works perfectly for this dish. I want to season my chicken. A little bit of salt. There we go. And freshly ground black pepper. Okay, first thing, we're gonna top our chicken with some prosciutto. I have defrosted some spinach. And I squeeze out all the, the uh, liquid inside of it, all the water. And just season it, salt and pepper and olive oil. And the reason I'm using it is just, it's chunkier, so when you bite into it, it just gives it has more texture in my mouth. Plus it's easy. You know, I have it in the freezer, defrost it, it's done deal. Okay. Now, just a thin layer of spinach. And now I'm gonna grate some cheese. Salty Parmesan cheese. All right, now, time to roll. So we're gonna keep it tightly rolled by inserting toothpicks. I'm gonna wrap this one up. A little olive oil. I'm gonna get them into the pan. We're gonna let them brown about two minutes per side. Okay, we're ready. Now for our chicken stock. There we go. There we go. We'll just scrape the bottom a little bit and help it up. All those little bits are gonna come up and flavor the chicken stock. There we go. Now, for a little zing, we'll add some lemon juice. Mm. There we go. All right, we'll turn the heat down to oh, about a simmer. I'm gonna let these guys cook for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab my fork and my plate because I can't wait to taste it. With each bite, the flavors burst in your mouth. Chicken saltimbocca will definitely tantalize your taste buds.